Alright, so this is the most common way to get up the dome. But what most of you don't know is that there is a second way in case like somebody's camping up there. Welcome ladies and gents, I'm your host Mosko. The dome is an abandoned monument in Rust. Big clans are ignoring it, solo people are going for the road. Meanwhile, over fuel is getting more important with the chainsaw and upcoming vehicles. Quick facts about the dome. A refinery on each side, which is great to get early low grade. Barrels, oil barrels spawn below the dome and on the oil tanks. Loot crates and barrels inside the dome. And the best loot are the military loot crates, which spawn on top of the dome. One of the best farming spots in the game. Here an overview to what can be found and how much scrap it gives when recycled. The minimum requirement to get up the dome is 11% radioactive protection. That can be reached with 3 build up items and a piece of wooden armor, either pants or chest plate. Getting elite crates is almost impossible on a hype hop server or for a solo player. But there is another way to get tier 3 blueprints. Experimentation is key. The cost is conditional to the tier. A tier 3 workbench needs around 1000 crap. The route to farm is straightforward, but there is more than one way to the top where the juicy military crates are. My friend Askan, an experienced player with over 3000 hours, will show you some other ways up and down. Yeah, we're gonna start by getting the oil barrels on the bottom of the dome. These help us make sure that there's nobody around because it takes it's quite noisy when you hit them. And if this part goes well, the next part is going to be pretty easy. Which is all above the dome and then in a quick escape. Getting up the dome is only one way, standard, as you all know. You want to go ahead and loot all the boxes. And even, even if the bottom boxes don't spawn or you don't see them, that's fine. Sometimes they don't spawn. There's a certain amount of boxes that will be at the dome at, at a certain amount of time. And the boxes, it's random. So keep going. Even if there's no white boxes, there might be four military crates on the top. So it's worth the trip. Alright, so we've got the two boxes over here. Yeah, and sometimes the boxes duplicate themselves, but not this time, we're not that lucky. Alright, so this is the most common way to get up the dome. But what most of you don't know is that there is a second way in case like somebody's camping up there like most people do when they want to just camp the dome because the loot spawns every half an hour people will either be camping here or they'll be camping higher up above somewhere like here which is a better spot because you've got a better vantage or my personal favorite when camping the dome like a little bitch is right here they never see you coming all right so yeah we've got all four boxes on top but let's assume that we're still on the bottom and somebody is camping the dome they've shot at you before or you know that they're up there whatever you just know that they're up there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back down here onto this and be really careful here because this is a very fucking dicey jump and it's it's not a straight climb and you gotta keep adjusting yourself some of you more experienced players can be walking instead of crouching this area is a little tricky because there's foliage and this will take you right behind the campers not very many people know about this one 
I do suggest crouching because that way they don't hear you coming. This way they can like you know pinpoint your location and you're here, which means that you can go up without making that jump. And you're gonna be right behind them when you get up to the top. See? And I'll show you the way to go down as well, the best way. Like people who like to go through the two pipes. But I find that really unreliable because sometimes you just die when you hit the end and it's really not worth it. So I've, I've got a better way for you. You're going to want to look for this area, which is the one gap in all of it. You go down this area. You go through here. Land on this one. Go here and slide down here onto this beam down here this is a perfect spot to hide because very few people know if there's a group coming up the dome and there are a bunch of noobs chances are they won't look for you here because this is like uh, try to hide on this sheet they can't see you from the bottom and they will not look for you over here try to jump onto the ladder so once you're here you just go down here you're at the initial point jump down Grab the extra oil, jump down onto this, don't lose any HP. And you're off into the fucking woods without anybody knowing you were there.